Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online educational channel. Today in our video we are going to discuss the income elasticity of demand. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Usually, we use the elasticity to quantify the response in one variable when another variable changes. And per definition, the income elasticity of demand, as we can see in this slide, it's the measure of responsiveness of demand to changes in income. So if we need to calculate the income elasticity of demand, it's equal percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in income. In order to better understand the income elasticity of demand, we are going to take an example. When Frank's income rises from $29,000 to $34,000 per year, he increases his purchases of tomatoes from 20 pounds to 28 pounds per year. Because as we know, when the income increases, then uh, our purchase will be increasing also. What's Frank income elasticity of demand for tomatoes? And here, they are telling us using the midpoint formula. And the second question, according to Frank, are the tomatoes inferior or normal goods? So here we have two questions. First, we should calculate the income elasticity of demand. Second, from the results, we are going to deduct if the good is normal or inferior. As we saw like a few minutes ago, that per definition, the income elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in income. And using the midpoint formula, so the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to Q2 minus Q1 over Q1 plus Q2 over 2 times 100. The percentage change in income is equal to the difference in the income I2 minus I1 over I1 plus I2 over 2 times 100. So here, per hypothesis, uh, we have like I1 $29,000 and uh, it increases to $34,000, which is I2. And uh, directly, this has led the quantity to increase from Q1 20 to Q2 28 pounds. So if we need to calculate the income elasticity of demand, first of all, we are going to calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded. So the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to 28 minus 20, Q2 minus Q1, over Q1 plus Q2 over 2, 20 plus 28 over 2, times 100. And then we will obtain plus 33.33%. .33%. If we need to calculate the percentage change in income, then we have I2 minus I1, 34,000 minus 29,000, over I1 plus I2 over 2, 29,000 plus 34,000 over 2, and everything times 100, then we will obtain plus 15.87. So 33.33 .33 over 15.87, then we will obtain a positive value, which is 2.1. Because the income elasticity of demand is positive, then Frank views the tomatoes as a normal good. Then if we had like uh, a negative number, then that's mean that the good is inferior. And when we always have like a positive number, like two plus 2.1, that's mean the good is a normal good. Thank you for watching my channel.